Hello there, true seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of role news analysis. Today, we're diving headfirst into the role drama that just won't quit. Brace yourself because we're about to dissect the shocking rift between Kate and Prince Harry and how it all came crumbling down after some snide remarks. But stop right there. Before we disclose any juicy details, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Believe me, what's coming next is worth waiting for. So Kate Middleton, once hailed as the royal family's peacemaker, found herself caught in the crossfire of this feud, and it appears her relationship with her estranged brother-in-law Harry is hanging by a thread. A royal expert, Katie Nicholl, has spilled the tea on this explosive situation. You see, Prince Harry decided to air his grievances in his autobiography Spare, released earlier this year. And let me tell you, almost 10 months later, the wounds are still fresh. In his book, Harry publicly criticized his sister-in-law Kate, and it's something that continues to deeply upset her. Kate Nicholl, author of the new roles, didn't mince her words when she said when you think of personal revelations, and I think you can call the snide remarks made about Kate in Spare, Harry broke the one rule, and that is staying silent on family matters. Let's be clear. Kate and Harry were once incredibly close, however, these revelations led to complete breakdown in their relationship. Kate, known for being the peacekeeper in the family, was dragged into a mucky saga, much to her disappointment and anger. Now, I don't think Kate does angry. She's more disappointed, let down, and hurt kind of person. She was denied the right to respond, and Harry knew it too well. William, too, felt the fury. He was furious that Harry dragged Kate into the mess when she'd done nothing wrong. So... What did Harry say that caused such an upheaval? Well, he claimed that Kate was disgusted when Meghan used her lip gloss. Imagine that, a royal scandal over lip gloss. He also brought up a row where the Cambridges were apparently upset that the Sussexes hadn't given them Easter presents. Easter presents, people. But the bombshell dropped when Harry delved into the infamous row over Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress during his wedding to Meghan in 2018. He revealed that Meghan suggested a then-pregnant Kate and baby brain leading to a heated argument. Kate's response was, you talked about my hormones. We are not close enough for you to talk about my hormones. Harry even described how Kate gripped her chair so tightly that her fingers turned white. Now, it's not just Kate and Harry's relationship that shattered. According to Katie, Kate and Meghan's relationship is beyond repair. The book contained deep personal revelations about Kate that surely didn't help mend fences. Meghan, now leading a happier life in Cali, isn't in a hurry to reconcile, although she was certainly in a hurry to leave the UK. It seems she's content on her side of the pond. And what about the royal brothers? Well, folks, the trust there is so badly broken that even when they're on the same continent, they have no plans to meet. Prince William currently in New York for the Earthshot Prize Summit and Harry back in Cali after the Invictus Games. Kate aptly sums it up, saying there has been a complete breakdown of trust. Even William, if he did want to reconcile, the damage is insurmountable, making any reconciliation a monumental change. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more Royal News and Analysis.